the feast of St. Barnabas the Apostle. My dear friends, we are called to preach. Woe to us if we don't preach. But remember, preaching does not mean that you preach literally. You preach with the word. Your life can be a sermon. Now, Barnabas is a person whose life became a sermon. Of course, word of God, your word of God, one part of the word of God will destroy you, crush you, break you. That's exactly what happened when exile, meaning of exile is brokenness. You have been broken by the word, punished by the Lord. But then in the same time, for example, Isaiah, due to Isaiah, proto Isaiah, and Trito Isaiah. In the second part of Isaiah, it's a part of where part where the Lord encourages the people in their exile. The Lord is the Lord will be there with them. The Lord will never abandon them. There will be a promised land after the desert. So encouragement is one one prominent place. One prominent aspect in the word of God. Now Barnabas is a person who encouraged the people, encouraged the church so much. So Barnabas is one character in the Bible. He's so prominent. He's not significant in that way. But then if you study him carefully, he's very prominent. His character is very important. In Acts chapter 4 verse 36, but there is about Barnabas. Thus Joseph, who was surnamed by the apostles Barnabas, which means son of encouragement. A Levite belonged to him. A Levite, a native of Cyprus, sold a field which belonged to him and brought the money and laid it at the apostles' feet. So that's exactly how how Barnabas was introduced in the Bible. And also, he, he came from the church of, church of Jerusalem, my dear friends. And he's the son of encouragement. And uh, we find in the, in the first reading today, in those days, great number who believed turned to the Lord. The report of this, of this came to the ears of the church in Jerusalem. And they sent Barnabas to Antioch. Now, now he's an encourager. He encourages people and he sent because initially the, the people who accepted the Lord, they need encouragement. I mean, so, it, so, so they, they use the most, one of the most important people to, to, to strengthen the church. It's important. And then, then he came and saw the grace of God. He was glad. Uh, when he came to saw the grace of God, he was glad, and he exalted them all. Now see the character. He's exalting them. My dear friends, it's easy to criticize, condemn, judge, look down upon people, label them. But then encouragement is one, one significant factor you should cultivate in your life. I mean, by encouraging, you can help a person to grow more than criticizing and condemning, labeling and looking down upon on them. So to remain faithful, he exalted them all to remain faithful to the Lord with steadfast purpose. For he was a good man, full of Holy Spirit and of faith. Now see how, Bar how Barnabas was introduced. Man full of Holy Spirit and faith. So once you are in Holy Spirit, you will see the whole picture. It's easy for you to encourage a person. And also, Holy Spirit and faith. So you, you encourage a person with faith. So nothing can, nothing is impossible with the Lord. So looking at a catastrophe, destruction, destruction, with faith, you will encourage. So seemingly, that person will never turn, turn back, never grow. Yet, in faith, you will see more. So you encourage. And then he says, And a great many people were gathered to the Lord. 
So Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Paul. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year, they met with the church and taught great many people, my dear friends. And uh, so he's a, he's a person. Now see, now he's using Paul in a very constructive way to spread the gospel. But then in Acts chapter 9, we see how he helped Paul. It's uh, in, in Acts chapter 9, verse 26 onwards, we find how he and when he had come to Jerusalem, he attempted to join the disciples and they were all afraid of him for they did not believe that he was a disciple. And see, because of the, because of the past, St. Paul's past, he was still Saul, not Paul. So because of it, disciples could not accept it. And how Barnabas encouraged him. But Barnabas took him and brought him to the apostles and declared to them how on the road he had seen the Lord who spoke to him and how at Damascus he had preached boldly in the name of Jesus. So he went in and out among them in Jerusalem, preaching boldly in the name of the Lord. And he spoke and disputed against the Hellenists, but they were seeking to kill him. And when, when the brethren knew it, they brought him down to Caesarea and sent him off to Tarsus. My dear friends, so Barnabas listened to Paul and he observed carefully and see the positive side. Hellenistics, Hellenistics are the people, a Jews who spoke other languages. So, so they are being, they are being challenged by them. And see, he sees the whole picture and help them to understand, bridging the gap. That's the calling, my dear friends. So the church throughout all Judea and Galilee and Samaria had peace and was built up and walking in the fear of the Lord and in the comfort of the Holy Spirit, it was multiplied. So little person, this person's encouragement took a long, long way. It's important, my dear friends. So he, Barnabas is one of, a, one of a kind person. And we find in the gospel, proclaim to you, go saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cleanse lepers, cast out demons. Now see, Barnabas anointed Paul. Barnabas helped Paul to accept, accept him to the church and help many others. So by that, Directly Barnabas, Barnabas in the back, back picture, without coming to the front, in, encourage the people, and those who are encouraged by his word, they preach. So how the mission is connected, connected not sometimes directly, indirectly. To receive without praying, give without pay. Unique, no go, acquire no gold, gold or silver or copper for your belts. Complete surrender and complete dependence on the Lord. For laborers deserve his food. So he's looked after. That's our calling, my dear friends. A, a encouragement. You become encouragement in all. So because for you to encourage others, others you have to be encouraged by the Lord. Not anyone, anyone, not by anyone else. Don't because you are doing the mission of the Lord. And whatever where, whatever the town or village you enter, find out who is worthy in it and stay there until you depart. And you enter the house, greet it. And if the house is worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it is not worthy, let your peace return to you. So you just encourage. Don't ever be discouraged. By If, if they don't accept you, dust and move on. So let that peace come to you. If they don't accept it, let that peace come to you without disturbing you. Don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Lord will encourage you so that you can encourage each and everyone who are discouraged by, by the situation. So be, be a servant rather preach a sermon. Amen. May God bless you.